As you can see here, we have everything on the table except one thing. Because they did not allow me to. But that is the one sector that we are going to talk about in this video. So, cheers to the good times and let's start rolling. Ula la 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 uleo, ula la 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 leo. Well, even if you are not an alcohol consumer, you have definitely heard about this jingle. But how do they get money to make all these ads? Well, to understand that, let's first check out the alcohol consumption in India. If you take a look at this chart, the alcohol consumption in India in 2020 was around 4.8 billion liters. But by 2024, it is estimated that it will grow to be 6.21 billion liters. That's an increase of 2 billion liters in just 4 years. So you can see the consumption of alcohol is only increasing in India. But which type of alcohol do Indians exactly consume? Well, for that, let's check out this data. So as you can see on this pie chart given here, most of the alcohol that is consumed in India is something called country liquor. The second most consumed alcohol is the Indian made foreign liquor and beer and wine only constitute a small part of the whole consumption. Now, this is generally because if in India you go to any rural place or if you go to any tier 2 or tier 3 city, you will observe that Indians have regionally decided to make different types of country liquor in their own rural areas. For example, you will find a lot of toddy in Kerala, you will find a lot of feni in Goa. Now, these are the types of liquors that mostly people like to consume in India. Apart from this, the second type of alcohol that is consumed the most in India is the Indian made foreign liquor. And this includes all your hard liquor like whiskey and rum. And after that comes your beer and wine. Although we popularly think that beer must be consumed the most because they have the most advertisements on TV, beer only constitutes about 13% of the whole consumption in India. So with that said, the next question that comes to my mind is which state in India gets the highest revenue due to this alcohol consumption? So the answer to that question is well, Uttar Pradesh. As you can see this map on your screen right now, Uttar Pradesh consumes the maximum alcohol in India and automatically due to that, they get the maximum revenue from this consumption. Followed by Uttar Pradesh is Maharashtra, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Now, you must have thought about Goa or Pondicherry. Well, those are not bad guesses. It's just that they are very little states and have very little population. Compared to that, Uttar Pradesh is a big state and has a population of over 30 crore people. And automatically, due to such a population, the consumption is high. And because the consumption is high, they get the maximum revenue. So let's check this on a global scale. So answer this question for me. Which country do you think consumes the maximum amount of alcohol in the whole world? And comment your answers in the chat below. Lucky winners get a chance to get some Learn App goodies. Now coming back to the alcohol sector, we have all understood that this sector is growing at a very good speed. Not just in India, but worldwide as well. So let us look at the factors that is affecting the growth of this sector. And let's start by factor number one, which is the licensing and the approvals required. You see, alcohol is a very, very difficult business to get in. Whether you want to become a manufacturer, whether you want to become a distributor, there is a whole bunch of different approvals that you must take from the government. And all these approvals are time consuming and also very expensive. That is why it becomes a big entry barrier for the whole industry. 
That means setting up new alcohol manufacturing plants or setting up new distribution channels is very, very difficult. And this is very good for the alcohol companies that are already operating in India. Point number two is that alcohol is a sin good. Now this means that most people that consume alcohol physiologically they have a tendency to get addicted to this commodity. Now what does that mean? That means that they will never stop consuming this commodity until the end of their life and automatically when you have such customers the stickiness of your business increases. Your customers keep coming back again and keep giving you more and more sales. The next point is that alcohol is consumed almost by every single age group except of course children. So if you take a look at this chart given here, you can see the maximum consumption of alcohol happens between the age group of 45 to 60. But more or less you can see amongst every age group there is a decent amount of alcohol consumption. And with that another thing to think about is that what kind of alcohol does every kind of age group consume. In this you will observe that the younger age group prefers alcohol like beer or wine that is softer on their palate but the older audiences prefer harder alcohol like country liquor or Indian made foreign liquor. But automatically because the consumption of alcohol is higher amongst that age group the consumption of hard liquor and country liquor is also higher. The next point is that to manufacture alcohol the raw materials required are grains and cereals like rice, wheat, barley etc. And all these are available at a very cheap price. That means the alcohol industry has one of the cheapest raw materials available to them. And this is generally because alcohol companies do not buy their raw material straight from the market. They tend to buy the raw material which is spoiled or which is not edible and not in use right now. And automatically due to that they get this at a cheaper price than the market rate. And automatically this shows up in their net profits as they keep growing. The final point affecting this sector is that this is also an export oriented sector. What that means is that alcohol is not only consumed in India but also exported worldwide. As you can see in the chart given here, India exports more than 300 million litres of alcohol every single year. That means export also play an important role in the growth of the alcohol related companies. But everything that we talked about till now about the sector was extremely positive. However, we must look at the red flags of the sector as well. So number one is the ethical dilemma while investing in this sector. You see, whenever you invest in a company, you are indirectly saying that you believe in those company products and you want those products to increase and you want the company to grow. And automatically, when you invest in alcohol companies, you believe that alcohol companies are going to grow in the future and you also believe that they are going to sell more and more alcohol in the future. And that is ethically a very difficult stance to actually have in your life. The second point to consider is that of high margin pressure. Now, because of inflation and because of the increase of prices of goods and services around us, the raw material prices of these companies are increasing as well. And automatically, when the prices of the raw materials increases, the operating margin of the company comes down or becomes smaller. And that is going to hit their profits and that is also going to hit you as an investor. So that is why it is important to keep an eye on inflation and the cost of raw materials. The next point is about the government interference with this sector. You see, because the sector is a sin sector, the government can set rules, regulations and increase the taxes excessively without actually taking permission from any stakeholders. And that is a big, big point to observe as an investor. And the final point to be noticed is the point of storage and quality control. 
you all must have seen that alcohol is not stored in a traditional manner it is stored in specialized wood containers or specialized silos and because of that there is a huge quality control pressure that the companies must maintain and if that quality is not maintained then their whole product for that whole year will be spoiled so these were the four different red flags that you need to keep your eye on as an investor so all said and done you must have a watch list with you of the companies in this industry so some of the companies that you can track on your own are united breweries gm breweries and associated alcohols and breweries limited but these are all the companies that you must have in your watch list and remember to do your own research on these companies remember these are not recommendations from our side and we are not telling you to directly buy into this company so go do your own research and find out if the companies are fundamentally strong so do you know a friend who would love to learn this information go ahead and share the video with them because doers always grow together and with that tell us in the comments below which is the next sector that you want us to see analyze and of course if you are watching this video on a friday don't forget to have a good time and cheers until the next video